political party is very happy with themselves for actually passing this law but is it more of a self congratulatory exercise renuka choudhury of the congress party member of parliament of the rajya sabha meenakshi lekhi mahila mocha national vice president of the bjp derek obran chief whip and member of parliament of the tmc vrinda grover well known human rights activist aba singh is a senior advocate and social activist this debate will continue and we'll be joined by ranjana kumari and shazi elmi bottom line is this uh, uh renuka choudhury that you know political parties are very ha- smug and happy with themselves that they've got this through but then the qu- question people will ask is what have you got through a highly diluted probably ineffective extremely compromised piece of legislation well that's a whole new take on the issue who has never that's how you're seeing it because i think the the law that is coming in the bill that is coming in on its own is actually uh quite delayed and i'm glad that it's come in now there's always scope for debate and discussion so what do you mean that it will not be effective you can't just sweepingly uh, re- reject everything has now even if it is for a tv de- a tv debate it's ridiculous this law coming in is brilliant we need it yes we i would have wished if, if there were other things if uh, stalking and uh, voyeurism um, voyeurism uh, would be taken co- more cognizance of but obviously oh, oh. the people the representatives are not prepared because it is a reflection of the society they're coming no, from no, 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 no. and they're evolving from Why do you so we need society? to carry them you can't they be dismissive no i'm not being dismissive i'm only saying as you ad- admit yourself what if you okay brinda grover raises her hand out there uh yes brinda uh your point of view i think you got the question why don't you come in please brinda grover yes arnam i just want to make one point yeah. yes there are some areas where i we would have wanted the law to be stronger yeah. the offenses to be well defined however for the media to only focus on those aspects and not to say that actually we are getting into the law offenses that we have been asking for for 30 years acid attack disrobing or parading a, wo- a woman naked in public a police official not registering an fir is a penal offense now to be by if the new law is pa- new bill is passed mandatory for medical uh, establishments to provide first aid and medical treatment to uh, survivors of acid attack and sexual assault stalking and voyeurism at least being recognized as offenses and penetrative sexual assault or rape being expanded these are steps forward we realize that parliamentary democracy is going to be a business where women who has uh, who has suffered serious prejudice which reflects itself in the parliament is not going to revolution for women is not going to come through parliamentary no, democracy why can't we expect there are steps overnight. forward no, we no, have taken no prince miss grover Ms Grover sorry to be to sound extremely cynical as Renuka Jodhri would tell me but this ordinance was welcomed by a large section for finally keeping with the times the ordinance not what been passed now and accepting the different kinds of sexual harassment that women face like stalking and voyeurism today those provisions see no consensus in the cabinet no consensus among political parties so political parties have reneged on their commitment to the people of this country to have a law that, that not just that takes that care of not. takes care of no no yes renuka choudhury will disagree with me but let's get me meenakshi lekhi in meenakshi lekhi that that you have agreed among themselves is one thing but you've gone back on the commitment you made to women of india in december you see the entire commitment to uh, women in india was to tighten up the rape laws to uh, deliver when it comes to rape cases in the court and to set up a few things and uh, there are certain areas where i would have wanted a few things to be incorporated for example criminal justice injury board and i don't see any sign of it but let's see what finally gets drafted tomorrow and uh, one can uh, take away forward from there but uh, as rinda said so many things have been incorporated and people in the country and especially the political parties have decided to come on uh, same table and discuss this law i no, think no, no. it's a victory of the sort for the democratic what is what is of victory of sorts uh, no sorry meenakshi and voyeurism no, no what what me. what is what is uh, victory no, no, of sorts uh, uh, arnab 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 no, allow no, me sec- one line allow me one line meenakshi there is no conviction in what you're saying you are not convinced about what you're saying 
no, you no, are not. There is, there is. I am, I am, I am absolutely, I am absolutely convinced. But you have to allow me a little time without interruption. And that is that voyeurism is a recognised crime under IT Act. And uh, so far as talking is concerned, um, I, I can, I can uh, tell you that under say uh, local police laws, I mean say Delhi police. Well, act, I no, I no, no. One, one second. One, one second. And and and, and so what, far as so far. Meenakshi. As, you see, there are there are things. Me, Meenakshi. One Meenakshi. One can use it, and lawyers have the ingenuity to use it. No, no. And 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 so far as the third part was concerned, parading a woman naked, I think Madhya Pradesh law is a very very good law. Which Meenakshi Lekhi. Yes. Meenakshi, there is Meenakshi, there is an absence of conviction today in what you're saying. Actually, there's an audio problem with your mic. I'm going to correct that. I don't find a, I find an absence of conviction. The bottom line is, Derek O'Brien, that political parties are not comfortable in talking about in talking about stalking and voyeurism. The only consensus I find today is that political parties are KG about voyeurism and stalking, despite the fact that there were safeguards for both. Well, Ordnov, if you've uh, jumped to that conclusion, uh, what do I say? This is a this is a serious business of legislation, and uh, this will take time. But the Congress has an old tradition of legislate in haste and repent in leisure. I can give you at least two examples. One was TADA, which was in the early 90s. The other was the uh, special SPS, the special security group, the SPG. That also, when they first made that law in haste, they made it only for the late, uh, at that time not late, but Rajiv Gandhi. Then uh, no, no, one second. Unfortunate. What, uh, no, don't make it political. No, don't make so it political. Finish. I'll ask you a direct question. I'm not making it political. I'll ask you a question. You no, know, Ornav, I love you saying this very. Yes. No, yes. my question to you is please. Don't make it political. Everything no, no, I'll tell you. Political. You know, you are a politician. You don't make you're, it political. Derek O'Brien, you know. The, I want you to answer, not me, but answer all the women of India who have been stalked and who have been victims of voyeurism, right? Tell them one, answer one question, that why you feel the definition of uh, voyeurism and stalking is too ambiguous to, for it to be made a law, whereas, whereas, now one minute, second part of my question, whereas you are very comfortable with section 66 of the IT Act, in which terms such as grossly offensive and menacing character which can be used even to cartoons which are published on the internet, highly subjective, can be subject to misuse, but the Trinamool Congress has no problems with that. See, the first thing is you have four ladies on your program. I'm delighted. In spite of the four ladies there, you're directing your question to the man, so that's very good. Now, no, I don't have any gender think, bias uh, on the show. You use the expression. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> No, Mr. on a more serious note. Mr. Derek O'Brien, we women, don't want a separate planet. India, we want men to walk with us. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Let's go deeper. I love it. See, that's why I'm the only male on the show today along with Arnob. That's why I'm the only male on the show today. What Absolutely. to do? They ask all the other male politicians. They refuse. Okay. So let, me, let, me, let me move forward on this. This is a serious issue. Arnob, I think the first thing which there is total consensus on, because you said there's no consensus, there is total consensus on that rape should be abhorred, the, the, the guilty should be punished, oh. and there should be a strong anti-rape law. There's no, there's, there's no two ways about this. Now, the question is, who decides how strong is this law? So Wrong. this is where everyone has to come into Wrong. Let me finish. This is where everyone has to play a role. Justice Varma committee have done a wonderful job in 21 days. Most of which you have not implemented. The state governments. Let me finish now. No. And no, after no. that, it's a process of legislation. Legislation. So it, it has to, you, you have to, it, you have to legislate, you have to deliberate. No, legislate to suit your interest. No, legislate to suit your interest. No, one second, no. one second, one second. No, no, I, no, I'm no. pointing out here today, and I, 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 all, the, all the panelists who are supporting this law, I want them to answer one simple question. Voyeurism and stalking, Renuka Chaudhary, Meenakshi Lekhi, as well as Vrinda Govar. All political parties say it's very ambiguous. We can't pass it in one go. Don't expect the world to change in one go. When ambiguity in the wording of the law does not pe halt people from amending the IT Act, then why this bill? 
Why is there an inherent bias as far as this bill is concerned? Abha, Abha wants to come in. Abha, are you satisfied with the bill? See, IT Act, they are worried because it, it, it affects the politicians and like it was in the uh, Palgar girls where the two girls were arrested for just uh, clicking right. So this shows that politicians want to save themselves and here all of them are saying what if it is misused and abused? So everybody is approaching this anti-rape bill with a negative mindset. And when it comes to stalking, you are saying first time it would be available. I would like to say that section 7 of the Criminal Law Amendment Act 1932 already had made stalking non-bailable. So now when you are making first time bailable means you have watered it down. You are trying to save your skin. You are trying to save the skin of the... And because election year is next year, none of the politicians want to annoy the uh, hooligan elements of the party who are all are facing cases like this. And I think it is a political settlement which of some sort which is being done. It is very unfair to the women of this country. And this is coming when... when all of the country came on India Gate in December. It is not coming as a charity from the politicians. The question, we have demanded it. What, what? Shazia, let's get you in and then we'll open this up. The purpose of bringing a bill was to make anti-rape laws more stringent but also to stop all kinds of sexual harassment. Now, what we find here is that the politics and concerns of politicians override the concerns of women. The concerns of politicians have badly overridden the concerns of women. So the purpose of having a legislation at the first place, isn't it totally defeated? Well, absolutely. I think the utility of any bill or law is in, it, in its efficacy. I think the legislators and members of the cabinet have not bothered to consult with any women's group and not just any women's group, but so many women who suffer the ignominy of you know, sexual assault or stalking and voyeurism. I don't think they have any idea because if they had any idea, they would have addressed uh, so important concerns. You have to ensure certainty of punishment. What are the various links in this whole chain? Registration of an FIR, the backlog of cases, speedier justice, the entire criminal justice system, enforcement and reorientation and gender sensitization of our police forces, special courts, special budgets for the same. None of these have been, have, have, have been addressed. I, I How think is, it was such a wasted opportunity. Let, let I, I don't see. I don't see any of that. The entire discussion is on 16 and 18. Well, but the serious issues. Three. This bill, this law is incomplete without police reforms, judicial reforms. That's all right. That's another issue. We see three hands go up. Renuka Chaudhary, Meenakshi Lekhi, as well as Vrinda Grover want to come in. A question asked here: stalking and voyeurism. A rural woman who is in an extremely male-dominated situation, the law puts the onus on the woman. How regressive is that? That the, com the complainant has to go to a police station Thank and the you. police person puts the entire onus on her. How many women in, uh, in rural India will feel that such a law actually empowers them? Come on, Meenakshi Lekhi, be fair to yourself on this situation. Don't take a political position just because your party has taken a position. Answer this to me as a woman today. Do you feel no, no, that you I can put the onus on a woman? Stalking and voyeurism. Is that fair? In which case? No. Okay. Stalking and voyeurism. Okay. okay. Let me let me let me just clarify. And uh, let me let me let me come in. Now, stalking and uh, uh, voyeurism, especially with the context you are referring, a, a village woman who is probably going through the fields, and I would uh, still go one step more. She is a poor woman, and uh, she has no. She is not a sarpanch's wife or any such person. Now, will such a person even approach the police? And if such a person, we have not empowered the structure enough oh. that such a person cannot approach the police, whereas, now allow me to complete, allow me to complete and let me give you the flip side of this. The flip side is the editor-in-chief does not behave himself and insists on a woman coming at 9 o'clock in the morning to the office who is reporting at 11 and he throws a file at her, she reports the matter under voyeurism or stalking against him. What do you do with such cases? Let because me give you a counter example. Let me give you a whereas counter example. Whereas that example. poor woman, no, whereas let... that poor woman, whereas that poor woman will still not go to the police. You now are... these are the flip sides uh... of the argument one has to apply oneself 
clearly and my approach will be that these offences need to be made cognizable, they should be reportable and there should be a diary maintained in the police station and when any such thing happens, the person's first step should be, it has to be in a graded manner. The first step could be ah, well, that report the matter yeah. and send the person for counselling. The really? second step could be call the parents, impose some fine. The third step could be send the person up to jail. So there, not everything is answered by IPC. I think one needs to be more innovative and has to have... Well, I think there's a simple answer to your question. You are running it down, Meenakshi Lekhi. And I think you're factually incorrect here because I can give you a counter example. I'm not running it down. You I'm are. not running it down. I can, I can give it, you 1,020 let, such examples. I'll give you one example. Every day in the court. I'll give you and, one and, example. And I think every answer I will, does not lie in IPC. I will one give you one example. One has to be more pragmatic and one has to be very clear.